Robo-taxi has become the buzzword of the autonomous driving sector, as companies and businesses are trying to figure out how to achieve level 4 and level 5 autonomous driving that requires little to no human intervention. And although Tesla's full self-driving package has been the most talked about autonomous driving software on earth, it might not be ready for robo-taxi scale just yet. Instead, robo-taxis are much harder to achieve and commercialize to a profitable business model. Because of the massive consumer sentiment around self-driving vehicles, the technological limitations of camera-only systems, and obviously the massive regulations we are seeing from cities and states around such cars. And although Waymo and Chevy's crews have done a great job of testing out autonomous driving robo-taxis in certain cities across the US, one player in China seems to have an edge over Tesla for its own personalized full self-driving package. As a matter of fact, Xpeng Motors' G9 SUV is the only robo-taxi permitted vehicle in the entirety of China to be allowed for autonomous driving tests within cities and on highways. In this video, I want to explain exactly what Xpeng's approach is to this autonomous driving sector, as well as some of the advantages it has over Tesla, Waymo, and Chevy's crews. And we'll also discuss exactly what it would take for Xpeng Motors or Tesla to achieve a large-scale robo-taxi fleet and create a new business model. But as usual guys, before we get into it, make sure to drop me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. So to start things off, let's understand where the robo-taxi sector is today and distinguish it from something like autopilot and full self-driving from Tesla. And first things first, there's a big difference between what Tesla is doing and what something like Waymo is trying to achieve. Waymo is a robo-taxi program where you're hardware fitting these electric vehicles and in some cases gas combustion minivans with LiDAR, radar, in some cases sonar and camera technology to allow people to do ride sharing with no driver intervention. And obviously the goal with these kinds of programs is to test a technology stack, develop it from the ground up and try to create an Uber or Lyft like service, but with fully autonomous taxis. And unfortunately, that right there is where these programs have hit a dead end. It's been shown numerous times that Uber and Lyft are not profitable business models. Uber burned more than $9 billion of cash in 2022 and Lyft lost north of $900 million. It's been pretty clear that these businesses have been around for almost one decade, yet they have not turned a single profit. And so now if we're going to introduce a capital intensive and very nascent technology in the form of autonomous taxis into that business model, you're only going to exponentialize the losses that investors are going to face with really little to no benefit to the consumer. Whereas with something like what Tesla's offering, it makes a lot more sense because consumers can now reduce their driving stress and load in different applications like heavy traffic and highways with software that their car is already equipped with. And this is one of the big reasons why Tesla's Model 3, Model Y have been selling so well because of the full self-driving suite that nobody else right now on the market has. But there is still limitations to what Tesla is doing in the idea that they cannot reach level 3 or level 4 autonomous driving without adding more cost to their product. Waymo and Chevy's crews, on the other hand, don't have to face this problem because they've already retrofitted their vehicles with extensive hardware to ensure level 4 driving at the minimum. This means on a technical basis, these vehicles are going to be much safer and less error prone than Tesla's FSD. But obviously it also means that this business model for Uber and Lyft is simply not going to work and the investments being made for Waymo are going to a dead end. However, if we go halfway across the globe to China and look at what Xpeng Motors is doing, they are taking an approach that finds the middle ground between Waymo and Tesla 
and they are potentially succeeding at this by quite a big margin. Xpeng is obviously a startup that started back in 2015 by selling its very first electric sedan. Since then, it's made some technological improvements, but primarily on the software side with its navigation guided autopilot system. And just recently got approved to test and permit robo taxis within the cities of Shanghai and Guangzhou, which was the very first for a privately held company. And this is where a recent video surfaced of the Xpeng G9, an SUV made by Xpeng Motors, conducted a full autonomous driving robo taxi run across the city of Guangzhou, China with zero interventions. And this was during peak hour rush hour traffic on Chinese roads, which by far have more activity than something like in North America or Europe. And from what I'm seeing on this footage, it looks quite impressive. The vehicle was able to handle numerous scenarios, whether that be trucks cutting in in front of you, emergency braking from vehicles in front of you, red lights, roundabouts, and in some cases also swerving from other drivers nearby. It seems quite impressive for Xpeng to be able to do this with no human intervention and in what they call an unmapped area. And this certainly begs the question as to how Xpeng is able to achieve this. And after some of the research that I've done, it turns out it might have to do with the idea that Xpeng is combining both LiDAR and camera technology into its SUVs. You see, Tesla's most popular approach for FSD involves cameras that are mounted from the front, rear, and side of the vehicle that process using OpenCV software the images that are reflected onto them. They operate just like your eye, but they're not using radar or LiDAR sensor technology. They're just purely processing vision using very highly processed software. And well, one of the limitations brought about by Tesla's approach to self-driving is its inability to handle out-of-the-box scenarios, whether that be people crossing onto the street, cones on the way, or in some cases, complex street scenarios. That is obviously because Tesla does not use LiDAR, they use pure software processing. That reduces cost, but it also reduces the ability of the technology to provide a reliable and consistent self-driving experience. And that, in my opinion, is what consumers really want. Xbox Motors is testing this technology right now where they're pairing LiDAR with cameras in a chassis that doesn't look very different from camera-only sensors like on a Tesla Model 3 or Model Y. It seems like they have the upper hand in China with permitting and government regulations because of this approach and also because they're working very closely with the Chinese government, something Tesla's not doing right now. And a study from the computer engineering department at Auburn University has shown us that a fusion of camera and LiDAR is the best recipe for developing autonomous driving systems, where cameras can have trouble in low light scenarios, as well as the ability for them to potentially get attracted to noise in different scenarios where it's raining, hailing, or some other weather events. This fusion will allow Xpeng to integrate the reliability of something like Waymo or Chevy's Cruise without the geofencing and restrictions and the obvious hideous design that those vehicles have. What do you guys think? Does Xpeng's approach to this self-driving problem make any sense? And are they going to be able to succeed in their ability to launch a robo-taxi by 2025 in China? Tesla's obviously planned to launch a robot taxi for many years now, and so far they've been unsuccessful in doing so, with now their plans being pushed down to 2024. Certainly, their lack of LiDAR integration might be playing into that bottleneck, but let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. As usual, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.